Real quickly before I jump into the video today with this one, it's not something talking about the weapon order, though that is the M1928 Handler Epic variant for 25 SMG headshots. That's something you can pick up, but I'll let you guys know about something I'm doing over on my Twitter. That being where I partnered up with Elgato Gaming and we're giving away an HD60S capture card. So for those of you guys that are looking to get into content creation, you may already be in there and you want to upgrade your quality. This is a great opportunity to do so. The guys over at Elgato Gaming gave me one to give away to you guys, so wanted to do that and let you guys know about it. So that one once again is over on my Twitter link is in the description below to the actual post if you guys want to go over there and follow that up and take advantage of that opportunity but want to let you guys know about that before we really jumped into today's video and got into the meat and potatoes of the content at hand but for those of you guys that are interested once again it is an opportunity here with this we're gonna be doing it for I believe it's like a two-week competition or something like that but regardless the opportunity is there if you guys want to take it link in the description below over to the Twitter so that said let's jump right into the regularly scheduled content so a couple of days ago we talked about sledgehammer addressing a lot of community issues that have been brought up in the past couple of months or so. They've been taking a look at all the feedback that people have been giving and then taking into account all that kind of stuff and putting together a sort of prioritized list of things that they're going to take a look at, either investigating further, bringing actual fixes to and adjustments to as well. But that was something that we talked about and there was a lot on the table with that. However, as of today, a few hours before this video goes live, there actually was a little bit of a hot fix that went out with the playlist update that happened for today on World War II. For those of you guys that once again, tuned into yesterday's video the day before. We talked about how there are some double XP playlists going on this week. We had the midweek mobilization that ended as of earlier this morning. That was party up double XP in Ground War and then double XP in all of Zombies. But then as of that 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard, and then 6 p.m. GMT update, that little playlist update, we end up getting triple feed double XP in HQ 24-7 playlist, which is double soldier, weapon, and division XP across that entire HQ 24-7 playlist. So that was added in, but on top of that, we ended up getting a hot fix that started to address some of these issues that we talked about once again that Sledgehammer detailed and then of course took into account and are now starting to roll out either investigations or full-fledged fixes for. So today we're going to be talking about a few of those things. Not all of them obviously have been addressed or actually taken into account and made changes into the game for them, but there are some things that have started and that being what we're going to be talking today. So firstly, let's jump into the big one probably out of this that might not affect a lot of people, but does affect those that it will come in contact with. That being something we talked about for quite a bit of time now here on the channel, ever since it was even rumored to be a thing, and then as more proof came out that it actually was, that being the level 1000 lag within games. So, for those of you guys that don't know how this works, well firstly, don't feel crazy because you might not necessarily come across it all that much because there's not many level 1000s out there in the game at the very current point. But, that said, if you do come across one, though, the entire thing that happens with this is that the level 1000 will get a kill and then it will cause either frame lag, frame skipping, frame delay lays for the entire lobby just for about a half second after that kill. So it's something that will affect the entirety of that lobby, but it is something that really doesn't make much sense. So that was something that was brought up and it was something that did have proof behind it. So therefore it started to get a little bit more traction in the community. So Sledgehammer ended up saying that they are addressing this in a multi-phase process. Phase one was pushed out today for a fix of the issue of Grandmaster Prestige level 1000 players getting that kill and then the whole lobby experiencing drops in frames per second. They said that they'll monitor it and if if there is needed, a phase two will be deployed at a later point. So that said, we don't get much of any sort of technical explanation as to why this happened, and your guess is seriously as good as mine, because it does sound pretty crazy that this would happen, and of course it is crazy that one person's level could affect the entire gameplay experience of a game, and especially when you take a look at it in recent times for Call of Duty, we've had level 1000s in Call of Duty World War II, this title, we had it in Modern Warfare Mastered and Infinite Warfare, and then we had it in Black Ops 3, but taking a look at those three previous games, none of these level 1000s ever created any sort of net code or gameplay error in the sense that people would across the board in the entire lobby experience frame drops. So that's weird to me that it would even be correlated that those two things would be connected in any way, shape or form. So to me, I honestly, out of just sheer curiosity, would love to know what the issue was, but I don't think that we'll ever get that answer explicitly. But that said, it is something that was pushed out via a phase one fix that may or may not have actually fixed the entirety of the issue. I guess we'll see in time as the community starts to give feedback. So if you guys are a level 1000, feel free to voice your opinions over on Twitter, hopefully in a constructive manner or something like that, or over on Reddit or any other platform you may have access to that can provide feedback to Sledgehammer on this supposed fix. So as it stands right now, that is one thing that was adjusted. We don't know if it's officially fixed 
fixed and completely gone, but that was something that did come out with this hotfix today. Now, the other things that did end up happening end up coming down to weapon tuning, because we ended up seeing a few different weapons adjusted. Three ones in particular were dressed by name, but then the actual classification of another weapon category was as well addressed entirely. So overall, there were six weapons adjusted with this hotfix, and one of them being the Itra Burst. My beloved Itra Burst ended up getting a bit of a nerf here at this one. So it wasn't anything based off the details that is super incredible. It is going to completely nerf it into oblivion, but it did get a few nerfs here and there that will take a little bit off its sort of OP stature. So those things that were a little bit tuned were the burst cooldown that got a nerf. There was a slight fire rate nerf to it, as well as the advanced rifling attachments specifically for the Itra Burst, not for the actual whole overall advanced rifling on all the weapons, just the advanced rifling on the Itra Burst. That ended up getting a slight nerf. And then we also had a very slight ADS recenter time nerf to that as well. So a couple of things, once again, that overall kind of just bring down the overall playability of the weapon ever so slightly. Nothing that, again, makes it completely irrelevant compared to other weapons, but more so brings it down into more in line with everything across the board. So I'm sure that we kind of saw this one coming, but Slitchhammer detailed a little bit further, saying that it was outperforming their design intent with it. So the weapon itself is meant to perform based off the player's ability to be accurate with every shot. And that's something that if you do use the Itra Burst, you'll notice that it is a one burst if you do hit every single shot. But if you don't, it might take another burst or maybe two depending on how accurate once again those shots are so they said that given the weapons power and damage potential the current build of it doesn't penalize players enough if they are missing x amount of shots so that's something that it's only going to make you be a little bit more precise so if you were one bursting people before you really shouldn't see all that much of a difference with it but if you were taking three or four or five bursts to do this it might take a little bit more to get that kill off now, the next weapon that was adjusted was a little bit on the Gewehr 43. It wasn't much, but it was something that was changed. This, though, was the fire rate that got a little bit of a buff to that semi-auto. So, contrary to the Itra Burst, they said the Gewehr 43's data led them to conclude the weapon is too difficult to use in comparison to its damage potential. So, they countered this by simply just adjusting how quickly you could fire things. So, beforehand, it was something that a rapid fire was pretty much a crutch on it, but now with a rapid fire on it, you might actually see a little bit more potential in those times to kill. The next weapon up on the chopping block was the Bar BAR Browning Automatic Rifle, whatever you want to describe it as, but this got a little bit of a nerf as well. Again, in the same respect of the Itra Burst, nothing too major to the point where it completely nullifies the use of this weapon. It's still going to be something that is a great choice in rifle classifications, but this ended up getting a slight ADS transition time nerf and a slight ADS transition time from sprint nerf. So what this means is it's just going to make the ADS time a little bit slower. So that said, it was one that honestly, I always loved the bar or the BAR because it was something that was such a quick snap, but it's now gotten a slight little adjustment to that. And this, their reasoning behind it, was that given the change to the infantry division with less idle sway, that that sort of transition period between medium and long range, whenever you have to aim down sight, that's something that can counterbalance those sort of adjustments that were made beforehand. So that's another one that was getting a little bit of a change here, but again, nothing too major. You won't really notice most of these in a practical sense unless you actually look for them. Now, the other weapons that were adjusted were some of the pistols. Like I said, this is sort of a category overall, not necessarily a specific weapon being changed more so than another one. So the semi-auto pistols, the P08, the M1911, and the 9mm SAP, these all actually had a slightly improved accuracy. So these ones got a slight buff as well. Now, despite the machine pistol still being the most used pistol, they wanted to buff these semi-autos a little bit to yield more consistent results when shooting accurately. So hopefully to kind of once again level the playing field and lessen the gap between the pistols that are available and that of the most used of the machine pistol. So that's something that was adjusted here, but that rounds out the changes that we end up seeing for these weapons. Once again, six in particular got a little bit of buffs and nerfs to them, depending on what you're looking at. And as such, they might change a little bit about how the game itself plays, but nothing overall too much. But that said, that is the hotfix that we ended up getting for Call of Duty World War II today. We're probably going to see a little bit of this recap tomorrow in the blog post update from Sledgehammer and a little bit more maybe on upcoming fixes and upcoming content that we'll see in the near future for the game. But as for today, we ended up getting six weapon adjustments and then some investigation and a possible fix to the level 1000 lag, which again is something I and you may not actually experience all that much. But for the people that are at the top that have been level 1000 for quite some time, it makes the game relatively unplayable. So this is absolutely 
absolutely massive that they adjusted this, that took a look at it and deployed a little bit of a fix. And hopefully it does fix everything out here for this. But I want to let you guys know about it, keep you guys up to date with everything regarding Call of Duty World War II, both again with this massive change for level 1000, but also the weapon adjustments that you may come across on weapons you use every day. But that said, that's where we're going to wrap it up. So let me know your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. Is there anything in particular you like out of this little mini hotfix? Is there anything in particular you don't really like or whatever it may be, feel free to let me know. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. And if you guys did, make sure you drop a like down below. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss a single thing regarding Call of Duty World War II. Anything regarding updates, news, tips, tricks, information, all that good stuff, we got you covered here up on the channel. So if any of it interests you, make sure that subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing. And if you guys want to follow me over on Twitter, that's the best place to get connected outside of YouTube, practically live on Twitter. So if you guys want to strike up a conversation, ask me a question, whatever it may be, link is down there in the description below. Also, don't forget about that little giveaway we're doing over on my Twitter. So if you guys are interested in that, again, check the link in the description. And finally, if you guys want to follow me over on Instagram as well, I'm trying to get a little more active over there. So that link is as well in the description below. But all that said, now to the way, hope you guys have a fantastic day. Mata's the espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.